Here's my updated opinion on The Rock. Why did The Rock lose 60 pounds of muscle? Looking at these two pictures, it's like a completely different person. I mean, he looks like he's 30 years old in his prime on the left here, which he's not, he's much older. And over here, he looks like he's, you know, 65 and looks like he cut down because he's a cancer patient. I mean, he's still a good looking guy. Look at that sharp jawline, those perfect teeth, good skin, healthy body weight, but that's not The Rock. Why did he never lose weight before until just now for this movie role? And why would he sacrifice all of that hard earned muscle that he's trained his whole life for and that he identifies with and that his ego is wrapped up in and he doesn't need the money, right? He's got so much money. Why would he sacrifice his quality of life and his muscle for money? So I don't buy it for a minute. I coach a lot of people who are this size and they're just running 400 milligrams of testosterone to maintain. But in the past, they were blasting big cycles. That's how they built the muscle. When I coach them, I use much healthier research chemicals than testosterone. Nevertheless, you can maintain this amount of muscle if you've built it before with not that much work if the chemistry is right, but then you lose the chemistry and you don't eat and this is what happens. I think also he probably didn't build a lot of permanent new muscle tissue like hyperplasia. I think he built hypertrophic muscle, which is like inflated existing muscle cells, which then it's much easier to lose the size. It's much harder to get the size back. That's probably what he's position he's in. But to me, this is like exactly cliche what someone does when their doctor says they need to lose weight for their heart or because of cancer or something else like that. So I think everything to me points in favor of the fact that there's some medical condition. And you might say, well, why would The Rock lie about that? Well, a couple things. He's probably got a lot of contracts out there that require him to maintain a certain image in the mainstream, which would prohibit him from talking honestly about what he takes because the mainstream doesn't want people to know about research chemicals and performance enhancing drugs because the mainstream is trying to suppress everybody to keep them in control. And people who are winning, people who are beating the system, the most successful people, they are all, literally all, using miracle molecules to give them the advantage. Otherwise, they wouldn't be winning. The Rock, I think, is no exception. All the actors that have great physiques, I think, are no exception. So I think he's not going to be honest. So the other reason I think he's not honest about, you know, his protocol, his health or anything else or his motivations is because remember how he just completely sold out for Joe Biden and he did all these advertising for Joe Biden saying that he believes in Joe Biden's cause, all this stuff. And then later, like everything he said ended up being a lie. And it was so obvious that he was being forced to say it under some contract or under some duress. And The Rock knows nothing about politics. Wow, it's crazy. It's just like he was paid to say things. And I think that's how his entire life and his career is. And it has to be that way. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But just understand, you can't believe anything that The Rock says because it's literally all propaganda. It's like he's not even a real human. It's like he's a propped up by the mainstream to lead the mainstream down a path of mediocrity, to keep everyone in a hamster wheel of buying supplements that don't work, paying gym memberships, then going to work out every day and not making any progress and sell motivational videos and read books on motivation when meanwhile, none of that stuff mattered. It was all just chemistry and insider connections and sellouts. So there's a lot of times that we've caught The Rock not being transparent. So I think this is no different. You just can't believe what he says. If he was going to be honest for a minute, he would tell you, don't believe anything I say. Everything I say is scripted and everything I say is written by my media agency, my sponsors, and whoever's grooming me for whatever next step I'm taking in maybe politics or some level of influence that is being bought by certain lobbying groups. So I would just completely ignore everything The Rock says and just look at the images in the video and actions speak louder than words. This is a guy who would was on gear and is no longer on gear. And it's that simple. Somebody's got to tell the truth, right? But you need to hear it from multiple people. If Greg says it and some other influencers say it, and then we all unanimously agree that this is a situation that someone was on gear, then you have the truth to make your own informed decision. And that's all I want. I want you guys to have the truth so you can decide what you want to do for yourself. It's not about rock look good or bad. It's nothing. It doesn't even matter. He's not in your reality other than he's an example 
of what happens when you take gear and you don't take gear. What happens, you know, how to be successful, how to not be successful. Not that he's not successful, he just did a movie with this low body weight and he's gonna make a huge amount of money if you gauge success based on that. But he never even would have been famous in the first place if he wasn't enhanced. So he still owes his success to being enhanced and that's what you need to understand. So you can decide whether you wanna be enhanced or not.